Hi friends! Today I'm going to read you one of my absolute favorite books from when I was a kid your age. I'm going to read you The Very Hungry Caterpillar and this book is written by Eric Carle. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. So here's the leaf, and there's a little itty bitty egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up, and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He's tiny, he's cute. He started to look for some food. So on Monday, he ate through one apple. But guess what? He was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through, if you said two pears, you are correct, two pears. But guess what? He was still still hungry. What day comes after Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday. Did you say Wednesday? If you did, you're correct. On Wednesday, the caterpillar ate through how many plums? One, two, three. Three plums. But guess what, guys? He was still hungry. What comes after Wednesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Did you say Thursday? If you did, you got it. Thursday, the caterpillar ate through, what is this fruit called? Did somebody say strawberries? You're correct. How many strawberries did the caterpillar eat through? One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. I bet you got it right. Oh, but the caterpillar, he was still hungry. What comes after Thursday? Hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. Oh, look what the caterpillar ate on Friday. What are these fruits called? Oranges. How many oranges did the caterpillar eat through? Let's count, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. And who can count in Spanish? Let's try. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Cinco means five in Spanish. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. The caterpillar's still hungry. Woo! So here's the best page of the whole book, ready? Oh, whoa. The day after Friday is what? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday. On Saturday, the caterpillar ate through, are you ready? One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. What do you think happened after the caterpillar ate all that food? Do you think he was feeling good? If you said no, you are correct. He does not feel good. He had a stomach ache that night. So, the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and then he felt much better. Kids, it's kind of like if your parents say, you've had a lot of cookies, you need to have some broccoli, something healthy to feel better. And that's exactly what happened here. He ate through a leaf and his tummy felt better. But guess what guys? 
he was no longer a tiny caterpillar anymore. He was, in fact, a big, fat caterpillar. Now, he built a small house to live in called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. Before we come to the end, I just want to add a little piece to this. Eric Carl, the author, calls this a cocoon. In my scientific experience, I believe it's actually called a chrysalis, but don't quote me on it. I would love to talk to Eric Carl because perhaps he's right. But in my experience, I believe it's a chrysalis and not a cocoon. But we're just going to say it's a cocoon. The caterpillar pushed his way out. And do you think he was a caterpillar anymore? I don't think so. He was a big, beautiful butterfly. I'm going to teach you a really big word, metamorphosis. He went through a process of metamorphosis in which he changed from being a caterpillar and he became a butterfly. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did.